Alright, what's up guys? As you already know, my name is James, or you may know me as the pump from my blog. So today, we'll be taking a break from all the water bases I've been looking at and talking to you guys about. And go ahead, and I'll be showing you guys an oil base, Mr. Natty Pomade Wax. So this is a product from uh, Great Britain, from the UK. And I received it on recommendation from Edgar, aka uh, Mr. Pomade of Pomade.com. And he's another person who knows a lot about pomades like me, so I really trust his recommendation and I decided to give it a try. And actually, I've been pretty happy. I didn't like it when I first looked at it, however, it's actually pretty good and it has some interesting characteristics about it. So, we'll go ahead and start looking at the jar now. Alright, so as I said before, this is Mr. Natty Pomade Wax. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the labeling or the design work. It reminds me of something I'd find in my Trader Joe's. However, the performance of the actual product is actually pretty impressive. So it's like, I'm willing to um, look over that. So anyway, that's a branding on the front. You got directions, more branding, along with the ingredients on the back. It comes in a 100 milliliter um, aluminum can, which is a standard size for the UK. Slightly under four ounces for us, because over here in the US, we have a four ounces as our standard size, so it's a little bit less than what we expect, but not much. Twisting it open, we have our purple group inside, and we'll go ahead and start styling with it now. So, once you start smelling the pomade, it has like a very nice, sweet, like floral type of smell. According to Mr. Natty, it's like a Parma Violets, so I have no idea what that is, so I have to look it up. Turns out that's like Great Britain's version of like Smarties. You guys remember those little like candies? Tastes like powder, but sweet. So it's supposed to be some like rendition of that. But once you put it in the hair, it's actually a really nice smell. It smells like a really smooth, like floral and really clean. So I actually really like the scent. Scooping it out of the jar, it actually feels a lot like um, Pomp's Not Dead. So it's like really smooth, as you guys can see, really easy to smear. And so you won't have much of a problem getting it in your hair. But once you start smearing it, you definitely start feeling the wax. It's not in like a detrimental way at all, but at least it reassures you that you are gonna get hold. And so as you notice, like my hair was completely dry um, and it's still really easy to like distribute the palm rate evenly. So you, a lot of you guys also might be concerned about the, the size of the jar. I mean, like the David Barber and like many other things that come from uh, uh, London, I mean, uh, UK, they come in like a metric size and the standard over there, I guess, is um, 100 milliliters. So that's like just a little bit smaller than our standard size. However, like, you guys also got to take into account how much of the product you're actually using. And luckily, since this stuff is like pretty like light in feeling and kind of like has a good wax content, like you're not going to be using like buttloads of this thing. And so this should be my last one. My last lick of pomade and I'll go ahead and make sure that I really like um, distribute it near the roots, not on my scalp, but near the roots in order to like provide the foundation for the pompadour. Also, of course, you guys remember the pomade was like straight up purple. Um, obviously, once you apply it to your hair, the color goes away. I mean, now if it didn't go away, that would suck. So, don't worry about that, the color will go away. So, with my hair all like full pomade now and all evenly distributed, I'll go ahead and start slicking everything back. So, 
So you guys notice how my comb's moving through my hair right now? It's going through like really smoothly. The product's actually really similar to Pops Not Dead OG in terms of these characteristics. And so with my um, hair all slicked back now, we'll go ahead and start forming the part itself. And that is actually quite a lovely part. You also, you guys notice how well it's slicking back my hair right now? It's like keeping everything nice and together, but also holding everything really nice and tight. All right, so if everything like tucked away now, we'll go ahead and start forming like the pop itself. All right, that should be good enough. We'll go ahead and get a final inspection of the hair overall now. So as you guys can see, my sides are tucked away very nicely. It still has like a slight like puff to it, not a puff, but like a presence to it, which is a uh, very in the nature of this pomade where it tries to like um, kind of replicate the traditional like um, hairstyling. The part is very nice and sharp and the pop itself, if you notice, it's like at an average height, but the shape itself is beautiful. I mean, this product, I kept everything together really nice and like well, it won't give you like a super tall pompadour. It's not like a wax heavy, like a rockabilly thing at all. But so it gives you a very, very traditional, very beautifully shaped like pompadour. And also my back should be pretty damn nice and clean, which I really appreciate given how long my hair is now. And I really appreciate them being able to kind of keep this shit back here, like all tidy up. Um, so what do I think of the product overall? Like I, I like it. And like, it's actually like, it borderlines between like bird and um, Pomp's Not Dead, honestly. So it has a little bit more waxiness than Pomp's Not Dead OG. Yet it has also has like a really good smell, like kind of like in between the two. So it's not as waxy as bird, but it's not as greasy as Pomp's Not Dead. And so it's like an in between. And so I actually really like it. Definitely, if I'm not trying to pull off like a tall pompadour, if I just want something clean and something like out of the way throughout the day, then definitely this is going to be my go-to. And so, yeah, this thing definitely receives my um, seal of approval. I highly recommend you guys to um, try it out if you're not, if um, Bird is kind of out of your price range and you haven't yet tried Pomp's Not Dead, but you still want something a little bit more waxy, then this is also another good choice for you guys. So that's Mr. Natty Pomade Wax. And I hope you guys enjoyed the review and take care.